Hello, everyone, and welcome to our College of Business Administration uh, commencement ceremonies with our Dean, Dale Smith. We're just waiting for a number of folks to join us, so just hang tight for a few. Um, we had over 300 folks sign up, so we're excited and we want to make sure we have as many people in our session as possible, so just hang tight. And again, congratulations to all of our graduates. Okay, so we have more folks coming in, so please just hold tight and we will be starting shortly. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, there may be some of you who may not be able to turn on your videos and unmute yourselves and that's okay. However, in your sessions um, today with your majors and your departments, you'll definitely be able to interact with our faculty who are very much looking forward to celebrating with all of you. So we have just a few more people joining us and our Dean Dale Smith will be starting shortly. Thank you. Okay, so I think that we are ready to go. So without further ado, I would like to welcome to our Zoom screen, Dean Dale Smith. Good morning, everybody, and welcome and congratulations to our graduates whose degrees were just conferred by President Snyder this morning. My name is Dale Smith and as Dean of the College of Business Administration, I'm so honored to be here as we celebrate our amazing graduates and their incredible achievements. I'd like to take just a few minutes to share a couple of thoughts with you as we come together for this milestone event. Your faculty and I are well aware that this past year and last year has been a challenging one for all of us. We've been tested time and time again. We've had to flex that entrepreneurial mindset and skill set. We've had to pivot on the fly and manage constant change. However, the stories I have heard from you and from my fellow deans around the globe and business schools everywhere give me hope. For it seems not even a global pandemic can stop the pursuit of knowledge and the development of business leaders around the planet and the class of 21 has truly risen to the occasion. You know, I was reflecting about this and living through a pandemic in many cases can often result in feelings of learned helplessness and even feeling like a victim. Yet we persevered. And as more of us become vaccinated and stay vigilant, as we flex our skills in a technological world, we show a different kind of feeling, a strength that showcases the skills that employers value, ethical and sustainable decision-making, adaptability, agility, problem-solving, opportunity-seeking, and these are the characteristics that make up the mindset and skill set that will set you apart and help us all in an economic recovery. These are the qualities that define you, and they will showcase your extraordinary talent for working together under the most difficult and challenging of circumstances. Embrace that and let that knowledge give you strength. You know, as a leadership scholar, when I was in the classroom, I used to teach leadership. I was recently interviewed by a group called the PhD Project and asked to respond to three key questions about leadership during the pandemic and throughout my career. As I was reading through the transcript to see if they got it all down, I quickly realized that several of my answers might be helpful advice to share with you, our graduates. So I'm gonna share these thoughts and just three key ideas that might help you navigate this next chapter in your lives for these thoughts have surely helped me think about our responsibilities as leaders. First, what quality is essential in growing your career? And I have to say that growing as a leader in my career has been an authentic belief that lifelong learning is critical to growth and advancement. You have to be open to learning from other people and experiences that helps you understand a situation, a context, an approach, or a way forward. You don't have to be the smartest person in the room but you do have to recognize the value of having lots of smart people around the table, solving problems together and learning from each other. You can lead with confidence and integrity without thinking you need to have all the answers, recognizing that you become stronger when you take on a role of facilitator and coach with a servant leader perspective. Two, I was also asked, who's my role model or inspiration? 
And that one for me was easy because my go-to is former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright. I heard her speak at a women's conference several years ago and her insights have continued to resonate with me. Seeing her cameo appearance last year in Madam Secretary, that television show where she provides advice to lead actress Tay Leone's character brought those memories back. The messaging and role modeling in that scene were loud and clear. Here goes. It's not a sign of weakness to have confidence in reaching out to others and learning from their experience and expertise. What Albright argues for is something she calls a doability doctrine. That is a code of ethics that states where your interests are clear and our values are at stake and you can make a difference, we must act and we must lead. That's a powerful message that keeps you going as a leader day in and day out. And finally, I was asked, what advice would you give to my younger self? And that's going back quite a few years to when I was your age. But as I think back, this is what I would tell my younger self. Don't be afraid to ask for help. We tend to put those we admire on a pedestal and sometimes we don't have the confidence to reach out and engage, and engage with them. But you have that creative confidence. And as my colleague and director of the Globally Responsible Leadership Initiative shared with me in a recent newsletter, many people together can achieve what feels impossible alone. Next, ask more questions. You can't know it all, as I shared above earlier. When thinking about what you need or want, and I learned this from one of my colleagues, even in the college, if you don't ask, the answer is always no. So ask. Next, don't be afraid to try and fail. Use that creative confidence you've developed here in CBA. Because remember, the letters in fail, F-A-I-L, really stand for first attempt in learning. And the last bit of advice I'd give my younger self, um, and let's keep this in this room, give up hierarchical thinking. Do it respectfully, but hierarchical thinking only gets in the way and creates barriers to accomplishing shared goals and aspirational thinking. Challenge the status quo in respectful ways. That's what helps move organizations and people forward. So that's the part of the interview I thought would be helpful to share with you. And as your time to LM at LMU comes to a close and you prepare to take that next big step in your professional lives, remind yourself that you've accomplished so much under the most trying of circumstances. Be proud stay in touch, and know that you're always welcome to come back to the bluff to share your stories with the students who will follow in your footsteps. Congratulations again on achieving this important milestone and best of luck to each and every one of you. And thank you families and friends for being here so we can celebrate together. I look forward to seeing you at SoFi Stadium on July 31st in person. And on that note, let's begin the celebrations your faculty and your different departments can't wait to see you, to chat with you, to connect formally. They're waiting to welcome you and your family for some fun-filled networking and virtual partying. So thanks everyone and congratulations, class of 21. Go Lions! Thank you everyone who have joined us. So there, you should all have registered to your various departments, um, uh, Zoom rooms, and you should have received your Zoom links. So um, we recommend that we, you join and celebrate with your faculty, your colleagues and friends, and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your morning. And again, congratulations. And we'll see you all in the various rooms for your majors. Everyone will start promptly at 1045. So you have a little bit of a break, grab more coffee and see you all soon. There's still people coming in. <laughs> so I'm gonna admit them and you can send them off again. For everyone who is entering the room just now, we are moving into our, um, our, our department and majors sessions and celebrations. So uh, 
we will have this recording posted for all of our grads. So please feel free to join your majors. And again, congratulations. Still admitting people.